It's a book of style guidance, um, which basically <laughs> takes the Pope's advice on what to wear on any circumstance. <laughs> uh, and um, as you can see, it's quite a condensed um, book, but that's largely as a consequence of the fact that the Pope doesn't really wear a lot of different clothes. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. In, the, in that he has actually found that the, um, the vestments work for most situations. For all occasions? The, yeah. the, the section on accessories I think you'll find particularly helpful. I guess got um... <laughs> Thank you, I will. Um, <laughs> that's great. Do you want to say something about what your present? Um, and how you picked it? Well, I, I guess it was about a week after we got back from Scotland that I was in Bookfinders, which is a little second-hand bookshop down, at, um, down opposite Queen's. And I wasn't there for any particular reason or for any particular book, but I saw this slightly crusty old book on the shelf called Pilgrims and I thought how strange that's um looks like a book that I you know it was very relevant at the moment and um so I bought it it's by a woman called Ethel Mannon who was I, I mean I suppose part of the real you know literary scene in the in the early 1900s and um I had never heard of her and I read this book I just read it um over the weekend actually and it was completely um it is, it's just a great story about a pilgrimage of sorts and about artists as pilgrims and um, there's some beautiful, it's set in Paris and there are a lot of references from French literature in there and um, yeah, it was just a fantastic story, it's great. And did you make a lot of connections with the, the pilgrimage you went on? Yeah, I did and I, I sort of wondered if either Mark or Tilda had read it actually because it's... Um, yeah, it just, it just seems so relevant. And you, you know, every, everybody's going to want a copy now. It, it's brilliant. It's, it was written in 1927, and um, I think you, I think I saw you can get it on Amazon Marketplace. <laughs> so <laughs> there's a few copies yeah. about, but it's um, it's a wonderful book. What, what would you say? And what would you say to the person who gets it? Because um, we don't know who that's going to be yet. You don't. Well, there's, I've written a, um, a little note. So um, really, I just, I just hope that they enjoy it as much as I did. I was completely, you, you know, one of those. Sometimes I find older literature like that, you know, it's, it's it can be hard going and it takes you a long time to read it. But this, I just flew through. I couldn't get enough of it really. So I hope that they enjoy it as much as I did. The reason this is a cheat is that this is what um, Toby and Johannes got for me when they came to stay, uh, okay. and I already have it. And so they said that what I should do is I should give it to somebody and pretend I bought it specially for them. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think says a lot about uh, Toby and Johannes. <laughs> Had they bought it for someone else, perhaps? No. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, thank you so much. friends around you that it's not really real but I find it can, I find it can be a really quite a scary place. Yeah. And the I think there's a greater tolerance for for violent violence than there must else, be. elsewhere in the UK. Do you want to go right through town or we can pass the city hall? Yep. Yeah I've never been to any of those places, the peace lines and things. And it's, it's totally different to what you know, you expect it to be like Berlin with a single wall yeah. or something like that, where it's just, just all over the place. You seem to have some big wheel here. Yes, we do have a big wheel. Have you been on the big wheel? I have. And what did you make of it? It was um, 
scarier than I thought it was going to be, but it goes around three times. So the first time you can sort of not really look. No. The second time you can look a bit, and the third time you're pretty free and easy. Cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. I couldn't do it. I'm scared of heights. What's the new building up here? <laughs> Surely. <laughs> was it just a beard? <laughs> it was maybe covered in scaffolding. Yeah. You're not going to go and see the Backstreet Boys later on then? If only. And so. Whenever he's driving the car for the first time and <laughs> the, the, the lights begin to change red, he um, speeds up and it was <laughs> an accident. And he said, he says, yes, it's green, go, um, orange and red, go faster. <laughs> Which is how he sort of understood it, based on the, um, his observation of human characteristics. <laughs> Very good driver. Thanks. <laughs> so it's my best rain man for you. <laughs> oh, was it? Again, <laughs> lost to me, but I know that I'm a, an excellent really, very good driver. driver. Yeah, it's everybody else who's wrong. <laughs>